To be a long-term success in the wedding industry, you have to share the excitement felt by your customers when they're planning and preparing for their nuptials. Durban's Eastern Bridal Fair has kept this energy going for nearly 20 years now, and the 2018 event was as fresh as ever. Let's catch some of the highlights with Karishma. Eastern brides are known to travel far and wide to source finery for their big day. The Eastern Bridal Fair has made all of this a little bit easier by bringing a multitude of options closer to home. Weddings are a family affair and there's nothing surprising about three generations being involved in the planning, so everyone can enjoy what the fair has to offer. The event has remained true to its core concept while also keeping abreast of the latest developments, as convener Sudhir Pragji explained. Sudhir, welcome back to Mela. What would you say are the major trends in Indian weddings this year? The younger kids are looking at smaller weddings, and those that can afford it are going for destination weddings. Indian weddings, I know, used to be 2,000 and 3,000 people, but they're few and far between now. 700 is a big number. But if you have a destination in Bali, then they look at 150 guests, 75 from the boy's side, 75 from the girl's side, and the priest. So they are changing, and the market will change, but they still need clothing, and they need photographs and videos and food. The visitors needed snacks to sustain them while exploring the stalls and to sample potential catering for their weddings. Jewelry is another essential element, especially for brides who have a traditional look in mind. And Karishma couldn't resist the temptation to try on some of the ethnic pieces on offer. That is exquisite. Wow. What does a bridal couple look for in jewellery for their wedding? When couples come in, they always have different choices and we cater for everyone. We customise, we do whatever it is that needs to be done to make the bride and groom happy. Indian bridal jewellery is not merely there to beautify the bride but also has a spiritual significance. The term Sola Shringa refers to the 16 adornments of the bride. And this includes the dress, jewellery, garland and mehndi or henna motifs. Table settings and decor help to create the look and ambiance of the reception while portraits offer a personal touch. But when it comes to fascinating the visitors, nothing can rival the fashion. Local and international suppliers of textiles and garments see the fair as an important opportunity to market their wares. You can't get two, three, four pieces. They make only one piece each. See how beautiful this is. You wear like this, pleats. This is not a gaudy gaudy. So That's beautiful. a rich, elegant sari. Why did you choose to come to Durban specifically? Because Durban people are so beautiful and in Durban, a lot of Indians. They know the quality and bridal show is especially in Durban, so I love it. What are you most looking forward to this weekend? Interacting with the brides and the grooms, helping them make their dreams reality and just the moment of getting these brides beautifully dressed. It's such an experience. It's also apparent that international exhibitors are in touch with local trends which may not mirror those in India. The Indian market is very different compared to the taste and uh, the needs and the requirements by the South African market here. So we are bending more towards the West and I see them bending more towards the Indian culture here. While tradition is important in South Africa, there's always room for innovation. It's really exciting for us to be here at the Bridal Fair this year. What we do is stationery, but our stationery is cultural infused and it's ethnic and unique. So what we're trying to do is bring in a modern flair into Indian culture. We also do gifting and statement decor. Statement decor, what we do is not the normal stage setup. We do the pieces that you add on to the wedding, the pieces that really create a beautiful experience. Everything from uh, vintage carts to vintage bicycles to beautiful popping flower walls and really, really fun pieces to create a beautiful wedding. A sense of anticipation filled the auditorium as the guest of honour lit the lamp of knowledge. One of the highlights of the Eastern Bridal Fair is an hour-long fashion show which incorporates beautiful music and soulful dance. This is the first year that they will be showcased in the Regis Kumar collection, which is one of the most prestigious and respected brands in India. It promises to be a show to remember, so let's take our seats. Welcome to the annual Eastern Bridal Fair. It's here again and now in its 19th glorious year. May we have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
A whirling dancer opened the show with a performance that could have come straight from a Bollywood movie wedding before leaving the stage to allow the models the undivided attention of the audience. A truly multicultural symbol, the lotus is associated with purity, beauty and enlightenment. And it's clearly a source of inspiration for designer Ritu Kumar. This show marked the label's launch in South Africa. Ritu Kumar is one of the top fashion designers in India and it is a real privilege to launch the brand in South Africa. The collection is really amazing. The choice of color, fabrics, the manner in which the outfits drape on the ladies is remarkable. Between segments, Mo Magic entertained the audience with his mystifying skills. Now, I mentioned a few things. On their own, yeah, they're good. But when you take everything together, when you combine everything, you see a question mark, but it is no mystery because it's only one place to be, and that is indeed the Eastern Bridal Fair and Life Bridal Jack. Mo Magic certainly knows how to wow a crowd with magic and mystery, and he's no stranger to Mela. I couldn't resist a quick catch-up before he does a disappearing act. Mo, you've been a busy man. What have you been up to lately? It's actually quite fascinating because for the last year and a half, I've been receiving a number of queries to perform as MC and perform at weddings. For me, it's about the magic of love and the magic of two people coming together. Dance adds a special appeal to the spectacle while also placing the wedding outfits in the cultural context. And this has become a signature element of the fashion shows at the fair. What makes choreography for this event is the fact that we've brought together dance and fashion. We've used Qatar Contemporary this year, so it was the first time we've incorporated Spanish dancers. So the treatment's been a little different as opposed to just a full-on Bollywood dhamaka, as they say. This year's Indo-Iberian flourish was a real crowd pleaser and an example of how the event aims for a fresh look each year. While fusion fashion has its local fans, ethnic wedding attire continues to be the preferred choice of many families in South Africa's Indian community. After all, who can resist the allure of a magnificent sari olenga in jewel tones richly embellished with gold zari and gote detailing? Wow, what an exhilarating exhibition, from the dresses to the decor and all the magical in-betweens. I have to say, it's almost got me lusting for a second wedding. True Bollywood style, the show came to a rousing close, marking another successful addition in Durban's leading bridal fair franchise.